Tell it to someone. It's brought to you by non-alcoholic champagne. All the taste of regular champagne with none of the alcohol. Greetings and welcome to Tell It To Someone, the only show where I refuse to be interrupted by the flying graphics thing this week. The first question is from Atheist Aussie. Do you believe that Israel is secretly run by Jews? What do you think this is, Hollywood? Next question is from a uh, homo cyborg zombie. Do you like to put orange slices in your mouth and smile? Now the problem here is that nowadays I'm a bit more mature than I used to be, so I, I don't really do that kind of thing anymore. So here is me from 15 years ago. No, that's childish. The next question is uh, from Karu Koenig, um, and he asks, do you have a tattoo, and if yes, is it a teddy bear, and where is it? Well, um... As far as I can remember, Tattoo uh, was played by Herm, um, uh, uh, Villachez, uh, Hervé Villachez uh, back in, in, in the 80s in a show called Fantasy Island. Now, while I would really like uh, uh, a little psychic in a white suit, he's now dead. And he's currently um, resting in, uh, I think it's some um, a cemetery in Paris. And no, he's not a teddy bear. He, he didn't. He didn't like to be. Well, he didn't like to be cuddled by men. He he really liked to be uh, cuddled by women, though. I mean, you know, it was it was a bit of a a pants man that Hervé Villachez. The play, the play. Oh, I can see lots more from up here, down here. Can see little canoe. Okay, the next question is from ah. Uh, Electorg, how many roads must a man walk down? Blowing in the wind. Nobody noticed that one. And uh, uh, Eminem number one fan uh, asks that Jesus has come back and he has reappeared in my backyard. He seems to have taken a wrong turn and he's kind of, sorry, he's kind of late. Um, however, he has very low self-esteem and he fears he can't live it up to 2,000 years of hype. Um, how would I, you suggest that I convince him that people will accept him? Uh, please answer, he has decomposed a lot and smells bad. It's always the same with these Mexicans who come over the border to do your gardening, isn't it? And the last question is from Rabin Rimbel eleven twenty three. That word plus eleven twenty three. And he asks something simple why did the Roman Empire collapse? Well, I was um, talking to my um, when, you know, when I was studying like 20 years ago now, I was talking to uh, Professor Gibson and he said that um, because empires must be uh, um, uh, held up by a constant state of warfare and, and, and because the, um, the Jews are, are responsible for all the world's wars, And it's because uh, they excluded the, the, uh, the Jews from all, all forms of governing. Um, that's why the Roman Empire collapsed. And that's it for Tell It Someone for this week. If you would like to ask any questions, ask them! And if you want to give uh, a video response, put it here, down there. You know, just click where you put the, put the comment and then... It says, put a video response, and then you put the video response in, because otherwise I'd have to make up my own video responses, and I don't want to wear my wig, it's itchy! <sighs> Dovetail question. Uh, now, I'm dangerously talented and I don't have a cool sign off. <laughs>